Anim Toolbox is a new add-on with a set of tools and workflows for animation in Blender. The first category of the add-on is Temp Controls. Temp Controls are based on an older add-on I wrote called Back to Empties. However, empties are not convenient when working with rig animation, since they are in object mode and bones are working in pose mode. So in this version, you can also back the animation of all the selected controls to a new local temporary rig, with the controls and the animation baked in world space. This is used mostly for space switching techniques. Let's see how to use it for overlapping motion on Santa's little helper. I select the bone controls that I want to offset. I press bake anim to controls. You can choose the size and custom shape of the controls or you just use the original bone shape from the source rig. I will now just use the default settings. A new control rig is created with new controls and the animation is back to them in world space. The original controls are now constrained to the new temporary controls. I'm adding now a cyclic modifier, also on the new temporary controls. Using the offset keyframes operator, I'm offsetting the keyframes of the new controls to get the overlapping motion on the ears and the nose. If I'm not happy with the result and want to remove the whole setup and to revert back, then I can use the cleanup operator. Otherwise, if I am happy with the result, then I can quick back it to the original rig. The temp control rig and constraints will be removed automatically. I'm now making sure the action is still cyclic, so that the last and first frames are the same. And then adding the cyclic modifier again. I will now go over the options in more detail on this simple bone chain. I select a new custom shape for the temp controls since the original selection don't have any shape. Adding temp controls to the bone's head location will create the controls at the base of the bone and assign transform constraints to the original selection. It is recommended to have bones that are not connected in order for the temp controls to affect the original bones. Adding temp controls to the tail's location will create the controls at the tip of the selected bones and assign track constraints to the original selection. Adding extra child controls adds another controller as a child of the baked controls. This gives an extra layered control without having the baked keyframes on the baked temp controls. Adding a parent control will add an extra root bone for all the controls. It can be based on an object position or another bone. When using a bone, the parent control will also bake the animation from the sampled bone. If no bone nor object is selected, then the parent will be added at the cursor location. Another new operator can create a parent control from the 3D cursor. Select the rig controls, position the 3D cursor where you want to add the parent control, press on the parent control from cursor operator. A new control rig was created with one bone in the cursor position. The selected controls in the original rig are now linked to the parent control using a child of constraint. The new parent control is basically used as a temporary pivot control. I can add keyframes to the parent influence property if I want to disconnect the temporary parent control from the original rig controls. Again, I use quick bake constraints 
to bake the animation into the original rig controls and remove the temporary parent. Copy paste world matrix operator. Copy the current matrix of your selected bone or object and paste it to anywhere else on the timeline or to any other object. This is very useful for example when you have a walk cycle with a root moving forward and you want to lock the fits in space to avoid sliding. The advantage of this operator and other similar add-ons or using for example the selected to 3D cursor function is that it's also recalculating child of constraints backward so it will always paste the same transformation in the world space. You can change different child of constraints influences and it will still paste to the same place. This can be useful when switching between different setups and things start to jump around. It is currently working only with child of constraints and parenting but eventually I want to make it work with all the constraints that are not having a replace mix mode. You can use it also for aligning objects and bones together. Later I will also add an option to paste over selected keyframes or to bake to a frame range. Copy Relative Matrix is working only with two selected objects or bones. It copies and pastes the relative distance between the matrices of the two selections. This can be useful for moving two objects or controls together without linking them, for example during blocking phase. I'll add an extra bone to use as an example. Select a controller and then another controller which will be the active selection. In this case I select the head. Press and copy. It will store the distance from the active selection. Now I use share keys to create empty keyframes on the new bone at the same frames like the head controller. The two controls are now sharing the same amount of keyframes at the same frames. Now I select only the first controller, select a different frame on the timeline and press paste. The selected bone keeps the relative distance from the head controller. The add-on is available for free on my GitLab page, but if you want to support its development and get automatic updates with an auto-updater, then you can also buy it on the Blender market.